Okay. Let's see if we can record just a little bit.
Kaylee Seven, May 3rd, 2019. I'm aboard Tevita, named after my dad. This is a 2019 Honda Goldwing Tour DCT or DCT Tour, one of the two. And uh, I'm on my way home. But as usual, I'm going to take the longish way, because why not? It's fun, right? <laughs> I don't know if you saw my practice just then. I'm not sure if I captured it well enough or not. But if I didn't, oh well. I enjoyed it. I'm starting to figure out what the lean limits of the bike are. At least in, uh, you know, when you're leaning way over, as opposed to uh, counterbalancing. You know what I mean? If you're way over like this. And I'm, I'm telling you, the spike can just lean and lean and lean. And even when you when you scrape the pegs, it doesn't it doesn't lever the bike off the road, thank goodness. It's got a lot of forgivingness to it. Ah, did I mention I'm still in love? I am. I want to do a shout out and a promotion for Bodine 52. Bodine 52. Thank you, Bodine, for your recent video talking about bike loyalty or brand loyalty. And uh, I'm humbled, really, I'm humbled. I don't know. I mean, he says I have a ton of subscribers, which compared to, you know, like somebody with 100, I guess. I don't know what you have, Bodine, by the way. I, I hope that if you have 100 right now and you think he's being a jerk. No, no. I was just picking a number. I had 100 once. I had zero once, right? So, and I started in 2007. It's taken me this long to get to where I am. And there are some people like uh, Hickok45, for example. He's got four million subscribers. It's his job now. That his whole career is this is this YouTube thing. Myself, no, I uh, I work happily so, and I ride. Anyway, so thank you, Bodine Fifty Two, for your great video. I really appreciate it. I think I'll take a right here. If I don't, I might end up in some hella traffic up there. And God knows we don't want that. In case you didn't know, I'm wearing all my gear today and the temperature outside is 83 degrees Fahrenheit with 86% humidity. So it's toasty, but I feel all right. I soaked down my shirt, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm going to have to be careful this summer when I go on my, well, it's not really summer, but in May, at the end of May, I'm going up to uh, West Virginia to, uh, to, to Williamson. And I'm going to ride up there a couple of roads. And I'll be wearing this as my experiment to see if I can hack it. I don't have a whole lot of storage on this bike, so I really need to plan wisely. I'll be all right. I'm not worried about it. If anybody else is going to be in Williamson and wants to say howdy, uh, we're going to be up there the 24th to the 27th. It'll be uh, the usual suspects, me, Moose, and Harley Trek. Tackling some twisties out and about. There's this one called the Head of the Dragon that I found on MotorcycleRoads.com or something. And then there's another one called the Parkersburg something loop. So I'll try both of them and see how they do. You might notice I've got my high beam on. I've heard a lot of uh, Goldwing riders say they put on their high beams during the daytime huh? to be more noticeable. And I notice I can see my headlights now in the on the bumper of this car reflected so that's a good thing when I turn them off I can barely see them when I turn them on I can see them so 
There's that. Thank you for watching my recent videos, folks. I really appreciate it. This guy was gonna go anyway. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Dumbass. Um, I will put a link to Bodine's channel in my uh, description. And I'll try to put a picture of his, his uh, YouTube page in the video as well. I'm not going to talk about his topic because I've already covered it. He did a really good job of it. I know that people are asking, geez, Mike, are you still a Harley guy? You're riding this Honda, right? Yeah, I'm a Harley guy. I'm a Honda, I'm a Honda guy and a Harley guy. I've ridden these two bikes and I like these two brands. And so I had four Harleys. This is my first Honda. So far, so good. It's the great experiment. If, if it turns out poorly for me, then you can avoid my mistakes. And if it turns out well for me, you might consider just doing a demo of this or something similar. This looks like an old familiar route, doesn't it? I'm going home, but I'm not really going home. I'm going to pass by my street. Just pass it. And I keep on going because I want to ride. I've got 400, sorry, 400, 548 miles on the odometer. I bought this bike on April 24th. 2019 and now it's May 3rd so how many days is that six is nine days is that nine days I think that's nine days yeah it's been nine days already I thought it was seven but it was actually nine